Yeah, I want to talk about something that I get asked quite a lot. People be like, hey, Martin, how can I get into the business? Or how can I uh, start my flight trading? And I always tell them the same thing, but I'm going to make this video so that anytime I'm asked this, I'll just send them this video and then they can watch it. First thing is, um, you will know, always ask me, how do you get into the business? And how do I save? Are there any scholarships? The reality is you're going to find very limited, if any, scholarships. And uh, your chances of getting a scholarship are very slim to none. Believe me, I, I tried my best to get a scholarship, but bad memories, eh? Let me actually just tell you my story in particular. It's always been my, my dream. It's always been a passion of mine to fly. So I already knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I just needed to find out a way to get there. Okay, now I was lucky enough to attend a conference where I met uh, a 737 pilot. And uh, he actually told me to, to check out um, some airports and told me a few flight schools that I could go to that were reputable flight schools. And as we kept on talking, I learned quite a lot about the industry in general and the things to avoid, um, the pitfalls. Um, so I'd recommend if you can, if you're watching this video right now and you probably have internet connection, which means you're probably close to a, a, a city or a town and you can go around to the airport and ask some questions. Okay, I don't mean <clears throat> just look up someone on Instagram and uh, just text them like, uh, hey, what's up? I mean, it's, it's also an initiative, but I'd prefer you actually go out and meet these people. Go talk to all these uh, different flight schools. See, uh, talk to some of the students there, talk to some of the instructors, and then you'll be good to go. Now, if you want to save, make the effort, make the effort to go out and actually learn these things. I used to watch lots of uh, videos online about all these different things. And believe me, these things do add up because if you come to a flight school, for example, you'll end up saving lots of time on explaining, for example, when you're explaining a, a topic. You'll save lots of money uh, when it comes to the theory side because, of course, you cannot emulate the, the actual flag. But the more, the less time you spend on learning these things, the more time you'll spend uh, perfecting those flight skills. The third and last thing that I can recommend to help you is flight simulation. Okay, now I know flight simulation is quite difficult to get into because um, of the computer or computing requirements you, you you get these flight sims for example flight sim 2020 right now is quite is quite heavy on the pcs but there's free and um free flight sims for example on google play store there's explain mobile that's it can run on your phone um you have a free another free one flight gear it's a flight sim for your computer and if you go through these flight sims, believe me, it helped me out a lot because by the time I came to the actual uh, flight training, I had pretty much gone through everything on my own. As I was saying, flight sim um, is actually quite a good resource which can help you go through all these, um, what are they called, all these uh, things before you actually come out and fly. It's very good for procedures especially. All right. And then what else did I want to talk about? Now you forget what you're talking about because you saw a plane. But yeah, there's a good online um, ground school called uh, the Free Online Private Pilot Ground School. And this ground school is uh, what helped me out with most of the concepts. Uh, so that by the time I got to actually doing these exams, I already had a good idea of what's going on. I mean, nothing substitutes for the real thing, but it gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. Because as a pilot, you need to know your aircraft inside and out. And what? If you, if, if you don't know what you're flying, if something breaks, well, <laughs> good luck. Ah, you have the aeroplanes over there. Doing nothing. <laughs> There's not much happening today. It's actually quiet. Bottom line is, just ask people. Talk to people and learn these things on your own because if you don't put in the effort, honestly, it's gonna be very expensive for you because uh, the exams, first of all, are gonna be that difficult because you're gonna spend lots of time trying to grasp a concept that you could have done way before you ever started flying. Uh, of course, it's not gonna be complete, but it will give you a good general idea of what to expect. And by talking to people, you can learn from their mistakes and 
uh, not fall down the same rabbit hole or fall down the same path that they actually. Did.